thanks for joining my channel here. Got a crew together today. We go hike up here, see the eighth wonder of the world here in Mackey, Idaho. Why don't you come along with me? A little bit of a hike. So we gotta get going here. Catch up with the crew here. Now they all took off like they're being shot at. Yeah, those are gooseberries. Taste them out, they're good to eat. The last time I was up here, many years ago, there was no trail here, no bridge. We had pretty much bushwhack our way right up the bottom of the creek. It appears the Forest Service has improved the trail considerably. Not a bad hike anymore. It's going up to see the water come out of the mountain. Oh, there it is. Eighth wonder of the world. Sometimes the seventh, sixth. Depends on who you're talking to. And my dad always referred to it as the eighth wonder of the world. I'm not sure why we had to run up here, but we ran. Oh yeah, we're here. Whole water coming right out of the right out of the side of the mountain. And right out there, that's Mount McCaleb. I've never been on top of it, but I was right in that low saddle right below it. Chasing meal here. That was a long time ago. And there are, are my hiking partners. Ah, over to film you. I'm filming myself right okay. there. This is structure, part of the old diversion dam here in the lower cedar. We just came from the hole in the wall up there. But they had this dam in the creek. I think it was probably, I'm not sure what years of operation, early 1900s sometime. They divert the water into a cedar pipe right here, run it down the hill to water well. The power to generator, electrical generator. And that was the power for the town of Mack. So boys were pretty ingenious about this kind of stuff. All this concrete here was mixed by hand up here on site. It took a lot of work. And I think uh, my great grandpa, JR, tents. 
had a little something to do with this. Pretty cool. And that looks like a pretty good swimming hole. It's hot enough to go for a swim, but my crew took off running down the trail. So maybe another day. Man, that water looks good. Right here, that's some of the old cedar. Looks like it was tongue and groove put together of the old flume right there. Water ran down that, the mouth of this canyon. Went through the water wheel down there and generated electricity. And we're running again. I'm not sure why, but we're running. I kind of like to take my time and look around a little bit. And those kids, they took off on a jog, but I'm keeping up with them. So, here we go. We're jogging. Big Lost River Range. It's about as rugged as it can get. And right over there, I'm guessing that was some of the foundation works for where the power jet or any plant was. It looks like it spit out the water right there. Looks like one time it was quite the structure. Those old boys know how, knew how to engineer stuff and make do with what they had. Yes, sir. All right, back to the trailhead. That was a good little hike. How come we had to jog? I don't know. Pretty cool. But uh, thanks for coming along with me. And join us next time. <laughs>